Hi, I'm Dr. Goodman. I'm going to talk about filler spreads and toxins, the ones I like to use to help explain them to you. There's a lot of confusion out there. And I'll pretty much stick to the past five years of what I've been using, because the rest I don't really use anymore. So to start with, rest lung lift. It used to be called Perlane, and then around five years ago I got approved for the nasal labial fold cheeks, and they, they changed the name to lift because it lifts nicely on the cheeks. So I love how it fills in the cheeks and sculpts the cheeks, and it has always been a great filler, just that it's gonna last a year. And then right around the same time, 2015, Bellafil came out. People a little nervous because it lasts over five years, but I have actually noticed that all my patients that put it in their nasal labial folds are all happy years later. They're, they're saying it's the only filler that lasts. I say they come back two years later, they want some more in another location because it's the only filler that lasts. It lasts over five years, not just in the study, but also in my patients. I love it for the nasal labial folds, that's the best thing. It may take one or two syringes, cost a little more than lift, but it's, and as far as the nasal labial folds, it's replaced lift there. But in the cheeks, I still like lift. And then about two years ago, Versa came out. It's very versatile. I really do like it for everything. It's FDA approved more for folds and such. I found that I liked it for filling in hollows under the eyes and the lips. It seems to last about a year, maybe a little less than that. It lives for like 11 months. It's a lot of motion here, but the more you put in, the more it lasts. Very versatile, doesn't swell much at all. And I like it, except in the cheeks, it doesn't lift as much, so I still, when I do the eyes, cheeks, I'll put lift into the cheeks. But around the eyes, it's just too thick, it would show up as bumpy, so I put the Versa there. And then this year, these resilient hyaluronic acids came out, and really, I'm just new at offering them, so I can tell you what they said. I can't tell you from clinical experience myself, but there's an RHA2, which is the thinnest, then a three, then a four. Four is the thickest. If you want to compare, I would say three, which is the middle thickness, is very similar to Versa as far as the thickness, which is probably why this one's so versatile. It's right in the middle. So I would like to use this, and I found so far that I'm liking it, Versa, instead of Versa and the lips, the two, but I'm very happy with Versa on lips. Everyone's had Versa on lips has been happy, but if you want something that theoretically might be a little thinner and might last three months longer, at least according to the studies, the last 15 months instead of a year, you would go for the RHA2. Remembering though, there's only one CC. This has 20% more Versa. So there's still an argument to stick to Versa. But if you want to try something new, because it might last an extra three months, even though you didn't 20% less product, go for RHA2 and the lips. That's where I'd like to use it. It's made by Revance. And then there's RHA3, which to me doesn't have any specific thing that I like about it. It's good for the hollows under the eyes. It lasts 15 months. That's the only benefit. Well, this one may only last 12 months, but you're getting 20% more. So in reality, it's probably going to end up lasting the same. So I don't really see the benefit. I think they're about the same thickness, so you're not gonna see any real difference, I don't believe. Then there's the four. I don't actually see this as replacing Versa because for the cheek sculpting, I've always liked lift. So I see it as replacing lift. So instead of offering lift, I'll probably be offering RHA4. They both have one CC, so the only difference is you're probably gonna get a little longer time out of it. And then there's the threads. They're also a bit misunderstood. I like the very strong mint 43s to lift the mint face. It's a great way of getting rid of the nasal labial fold. It's gone when you pull it up. It's very good to get rid of the marionette line. It's gone when you pull it up. The thread dissolves in less than a year, so the result's gone, so you gotta do it again, just like fillers. But it's gone when you lift it, it's more natural. It also gets rid of the hollows on the sides of the eyes because you just lifted your cheek. I like three on the side. And if you wanted to lift your brows too, with the cat eye lift, it's the mint lines. It literally goes just like this, two of them, and lifts them up just like that. It works very nice. This is the only place you really like the fines. You can put them in the mid face, they just don't pull near as well, they don't last as long. So I really like the mint 43s. And the mint easies, I like them for the neck, but I find I can also do the fines there. So the mint easies are not that important. I can do everything with the fines and the mint 43s. So the mint 43s work here and here as well. They're just a little more complicated to put them in there. And then of course, there are toxins. There's gonna to be new ones coming out soon. But for now, 
for about not even two years now. There's Javo. It works great. They have the rebate. They have like a double rebate now, so it works and lasts just as long and kicks in just as quick as botulinum toxin Botox. According to the studies, I haven't noticed any difference. It costs a little less and they have rebates, so it kicks in in three to seven days. If you need something to kick in right away, there's Discord. The rebates are smaller and the product costs a little bit more, so as long as you're willing to pay an extra $100, $150, whatever it is, Discord is a great product. I like to do all my injecting with these blunt cannulas. They actually don't hurt because they're not sharp, they're blunt. They don't bruise you. You just get a little numbing where it's going in, so it doesn't hurt, and so it goes in because it's not a needle, and then you don't really notice the blunt cannula because it's blunt, it's sharp things you feel. And there's one for each thing, like for the nose, if you're trying to fill it in, there's a 30 gauge, which is really fine. For Bellafil, I use the 22 gauge because it's a very thick substance. And for the rest, I'm using the 25 gauge for the lips. And that's what these blunt cannulas are all about. So it doesn't bruise and doesn't hurt. I hope that helps you understand things. There will be new stuff coming around very soon. But this is the latest up till the 14th of November.